Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial of lip drawing. In this tutorial, I want to go through freehand hands, um, um, lip drawing, not hands. All right, guys. So let's begin. I'm gonna start with a little um, a lips that has a tongue inside as well. For this part, I really need you to follow my hand movements. Um, when I'm going through a line, have your um, paper and pencil ready. So, almost a half triangular and also a curvy stroke right here. All right. We're gonna go through whole to details. Always follow this rule. There is no rush. Right? All right. So I'm gonna take my time when it comes to drawing. Attach these lines together. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. You just have to follow along and make sure um, your lines almost like make sense. That's important. This part it should be quite um, close uh, together. So because. Because the tongue is coming from here, this side. All right. So I'm just have to determine where is the uh, where is the lips coming from. the curveness of here and then I'm gonna you can download the uh, the finished drawing so you can have a look how it looks like at the end and then follow along Since you already learned the structure for lips drawing, this part shouldn't be that hard for you. Just gonna go through the lower lip, another curvy line. Connect this together, this part. This part usually is very, and it has a curvy line here and then We're gonna go through a lot of different examples today, so be ready. Don't get tired. You have a long way to go. I'm just uh, be careful that these two are almost. Same size, the the main structure is almost finished. It's gonna get rid of this because it's not nice to be there. All right, 
shall we start like going and giving some colors into it? a little darker pencil this was 4b I'm gonna use a little uh, 6b I've been using HP pencils Taking that away from the our drawing. And change my hand direction this part I want to be highlight this part as you can see and also this part so always and near the lines are the darkest I think I have said this uh, sentence so many times that all my students now memorize it so whenever I say it, they say oh we know don't say it again that's for our new members who just joined it's good to repeat even for myself I like repeating it so I remember so I'm gonna I don't want to go through the whole thing it just it makes sense This part of the leaves needs to be darker guys in order to stand out from the rest of the leaves. I hope you're practicing after me as well while you're looking at the screen. All right, let's move on to this part. I want this part to have some highlights and also this part. In order not to go in them, I'm just gonna draw them. I didn't have to change my pencil. You can keep practicing with the same pencil. Don't force yourself to get a lot of tools and materials for your drawing. You really don't need it for the beginner's practice. Um, step by step when you go through the different tutorials you will learn what kind of tools and materials needed in my ebook uh, which you can download and read it I mentioned like 
having expensive material doesn't mean that you have good materials you have to have the right materials and also you can go through the um, tools and materials video and learn about it more which materials which tools are used for each mediums and that comes with experience guys it just it's not that I search online or I just came up with them it's been years that I have been using them so I realized which one's really useful for which medium it's like life always my mom says it's, you don't have to go through the same experience in order to learn that you should not do that or do it you can learn from other people's experience and then apply that to your life or in this case to the drawing So the good thing is that since I have different materials, you can see the materials, uh, for instance, when it comes to color pencil, you can go to my color pencil uh, course or short videos, uh, uh, also the membership, to see what kind of um, pencils, color pencils usable and used for different drawings. For instance, I'm using Faber-Castell polychromos or I'm using um, normal pencils, like I bought them only for one pound not each, the whole pack. <laughs> so it all depends. And as I mentioned, I have, since I have used them, you can see how they look like, which one you prefer, and then um, get that one if you want to invest in your tools and materials a little. Alright, so let's move to the next freehand. I'm not gonna actually do this again, or maybe I will. It depends on uh, how it's gonna turn out. Um, I'm gonna go, I was about to draw lines. I'm still used to draw two lines and then do the structure. <laughs> Forgot this is almost freehand. Okay. Do you remember two ovals and two circles? This time I expect you to do this freehand. Just imagine this, these are two ovals. If they don't come out symmetrical, if you don't like it, practice one more. If you still don't like the second one, practice one more time. Practice, practice, practice until you're satisfied with the result. Don't let it go. No one's first practice is good, guys. Or maybe it is, so that's perfect. If it is, excellent. Practice again, even if it's good. So I'm just making sure This one, let's go through another one which has, which biting uh, hair or his lips. Let's have a look. So this is quite a distorted uh, lips that I'm going to draw right now. Okay, as you can see, like a mountain. <laughs> Just follow my hand movements. Don't rush it. I'm not gonna rush it as well. If you rush it, you might not like the result. 
So why rushing it when you're not gonna even liking it? So just since this is the center, Just had to draw the fifth to uh, so I can determine where the lips gonna be, the lower lip. Yes, that's how actually she looks like. I'll go through the the lines, the hatching parts. This part should be darker since it's biting it. So this part. Sorry, just broke my hand for a second. This part actually, it's better not to have that much darkness. It's gonna look better. See, it looks better now. But this part needs to have Take your time. It's so relaxing when you actually don't rush it to finish. I guarantee it's more stressful when you 
try to finish it as soon as you can. Usually, um, when we do, we go through the uh, thieves, these parts are should be actually less dark, so just gonna take away the darkness so it won't stand out. Then I'm gonna treat this part, give a little darkness here. Alright guys, so let's move to the next lip drawing. I'm just gonna sharpen my... Uh, I have this piece of uh, plastic paper um, plate. For drying, make sure your pencils are all sharp. Now quickly, let's go through the another version of lips. You can see all of them start the same guys. Either the distorted one has the same one. This one has the same one. All right. sure hatching this part this part this part are the darkest take your time don't rush it as soon as this drawing part is finished practice one more time You see, I do uh, now cross hatching here. Let's do the same thing here. So we have this. Now I'm gonna go through. Alright, I'm gonna move to another one. 
just gonna move a little to the left side so we can hear the chair so I'm gonna draw it here this one is gonna have a little lips coming out so let's move on The main structure of the upper lip, I'm gonna finish it first. Then before move on, I'm gonna make sure this one is correct. For this drawing, it's quite important. So now, before I move on, I'm gonna make sure I know the these two front feet, they're correct. To be honest, to be fair, I never liked uh, the swift drawing, but anyhow, even if you don't like something, you have to draw it. It's part of your practice. If you don't like a feet, draw it, draw more. That's how you get better. This one should be small because we're gonna have small tongue coming out of here like this. It's cute, maybe. So now I can go to the As I mentioned, hold to details, always do that. Now I'm gonna do a little blur and uh, fix. I expect all these practices guys to be submitted I'm gonna review all of them and give you my um, opinion criti uh, either I'm gonna say for instance not I, have, I don't have to say criticize but I'm gonna point out which part you need to work on which part needs to redo and what needs to be done precisely to, to say Better this part of the doesn't show. So when you draw it, you make sure it's there. Just Like these parts near the lines darker I'm gonna go through that so while I was drawing I think the camera got uh, cut off and we couldn't see uh, the next drawing which I was about to I was saying that how we should do smile lips this corner should come up continue it's the same format all right guys 
let's move on i'll see you in the uh, next tutorial and bye bye for now